Okay. Good evening and welcome to Liberty Arts House Concert Live, sponsored by Puff Bunny Records. My name is Gina Mandello and I am your hostess for this evening. And we have a great night tonight, uh, a great night for you tonight. We're going to uh, play some incredible music by the amazing Taylor Pye. Uh, we're celebrating the digital release of several of her albums, which have only been uh, available on disc up until this point. And so we're very excited to share some of the music with you. Uh, and so with, with no further ado, let me now introduce you to Taylor Pye. Welcome to my kitchen, Gina. Hey. And everybody else. You going to play us some music? I am. I, I just, you got me in the mood now. This is where I do a lot of writing. So here we go. You ready? All right, let's go. Where do you go when there's no place to turn? And you lean on a wall watching your bridges burn what do you do Ooh, tell me about you what do you say when you said way too much and you're working every word and breaking hearts as you touch the words don't ring true tell me about you we've known each other long enough for me to tell you that I love you and I always will When I see you like this, lost and frightened, well now, I just can't sit still. What do you do when you lay down to sleep? Do monsters from the past start chasing your sheep? When dreams don't come true, Tell me about man you're over in nashville gina well we had some killer storms the other day gotta yeah. tell ya. Woo. every time they come through whatever happened to those gentle spring showers the bring may flowers it's uh it was it was pretty crazy it was it was it was a pretty crazy day um but now it's it's fine this trees are trees are green and everything's looking good so 
Let's start with the the, the album. Um, the first one you said you were going to talk about is the uh, "So Little Has Changed." Well, that about that album. Thank you. That that's a good question because Puff Bunny Records was created around that album in a way. Um, first of all, Catherine Harrison from Texas uh, offered to put together money. Uh, to make an album, a professional album, which I hadn't done in a lot of years, uh, go into a studio in Nashville and cut with all my favorite people uh, like Dave Pomeroy and uh, Kenny Malone on drums and just a wonderful cast of characters and, uh, and do nothing but songs I had written myself. Do a whole album of pie, put together an album of all the songs that you like, right, that you have right now. So that's how that album happened. And we did it at Jack's Tracks. Funny enough, the very first solo album I did, though, on a really professional level like that, was the one that we are digitally releasing and celebrating tonight, finally getting home back when I was Susan Taylor. Um, so it's uh, it's how Puff Benny Records was started, was making that album. And and because when we'd all finished, we listened, we said, gee, we really like this. I played it for my friend Alan Reynolds producer and, and and was the president of JMI Records years ago uh, and produced that first album on me. And he said, wow, it's it's really wonderful. You ought to get around to everybody in town. And, and then we said, well, well, how do we really do that? I said, well, I guess we need a record company. So that's kind of how it started um, with with just songs. Just cool. Yeah. You, just, got lot, you got lots of friends here, Pi. You got all kinds of people. I do have lots of friends and they're all over and I hope every one of you is healthy and staying home and, and being happy about it, getting all those things done. That's what I've been doing. I've been just getting stuff done that's been waiting for me to be home to do it. Great, great. I can't always see you come up so quickly and you disappear. I see your name. And by the time I look over there, there's a couple of things. I can also see the private chat. So if you write something to me, guys, I can see that over there too. No, nope. I've never, only I've never I done see. a live stream like this, Gene. Excuse me. The private chat only only you and I can see that. That's our little secret in the private. Oh, chat. I see. That's in case you say pie. You have spinach in the front tooth. That right that's there. exactly what I would say. That's that's Thank exactly you. what I say. Well, why did Why didn't you play us something from So Little Has Changed? What? Hey, why don't I play one Ruby Lovett and I wrote? Okay, which Just, one? Which one? Because that Ruby just released uh, on, on Puff Bunny last year, and they're still playing her album all over the charts in the UK. Cool. We wrote this back in the days when we did the So Little Has Changed album. Cool. Well, here we go. You say you're going to close the book of love because it never seems to stick around. <laughs> You're tired of opening your trusting heart just to get used up and to be let down. You're always wondering why you attract someone who never seems to love you back. You got to learn to love yourself before you can really love somebody else. And you gotta accept who you are, the good and the bad, every little part. To yourself, always be kind, find the beauty that's inside. So you'll know your greatest wealth is when you learn to love yourself. Who you are, the good and the bad, every 
every little part to yourself always be kind find the beauty that's inside so you know your greatest wealth is when you learn to love yourself mm -hmm. We got a we got a big somebody saying something. We got Kit Sutherland saying some nice oh, things. Oh, Kit, Georgia was, Way, yes. Hey, Georgia. The Pozo Seco band. Thinking about you guys a lot. Sending you health. Yep. Oh, thank you. Yes. Thank you, Super Kit. Great. Days of time. Thank you. Thank we you. Got Kit. people all over the place. Got people up in Canada. Um, we got Donna J. Winnemore and Indeed. Janice Villarico and Ah, Austin, Texas. Mom, Olivia, and I are listening. You're amazing. Yeah, Tracy. Wow, wow. Right. Man, they're, all, that. they're coming in from everywhere. That's great. You know, I like this method, you know. It's cool. It is. It's really cool. That's. It's one of the uh, more positive aspects of what's going on in all of our lives at this moment, right? Well, really? we're all here in the same space at the moment. Well, we're, we're all here. here at least together. we're gathered around tonight thinking about each other and... One more off the So Little Has Changed album, I Yeah, please. That would be this great. Is, this is my personal favorite on the album. And and interestingly enough, I was sitting at this kitchen table that I'm sitting at tonight, drinking from the Nerfa cup from Michael. Michael, are you there, Cornfield? Michael Cornfield is the president. Oh, I know he's there. Well, I know he's out there mm -hmm. somewhere. But mm. Thanks, Michael, for putting it up on your acoustic magazine thing. So this is okay. my favorite song off the album. It's called okay. Be Here With You, and I am so happy to be here with you.
I can hear the applause all the way, all the way <laughs> across all the pages. I'm hearing it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, yeah. what's what what's the next album you'd like to talk about? Uh, I think you have the live one, the live album. We well, we made we made that album at Jack's Tracks, and then we formed the record company, and then we said, so what does a record company do? And we go, we looked around, and everybody goes, you had a CD release party, so <laughs> so we got a friend of Kathy's who owns a what a Hondo, a famous fellow there in in, the, in Texas who started a place called Hondos in Texas, and his daughter. In Fredericksburg has a place called Hondo's on Main. They have a wonderful stage. And we said, why don't we have a CD release party at Hondo's on Main? And so Evan and I were doing, Evan Wood and I were doing a lot of playing music. In fact, I took Evan to Nashville to, to do the So Little Changed album. And so we just kept hanging out for a while and playing music, just the two of us going around doing gigs. And so we did the Hondo's thing and I had a guy come out from Austin and record it live. So I'd never had a re recorded a live album either. So this uh, album got a little mileage. We did a lot of the songs from the So Little Has Changed album, but we also did some that aren't anywhere else except on the live music album. Would you like to hear one of those? Yes, please. Okay, like this is this is a song I wrote when I first moved to Corpus Christi before the Pozo Seco Singers, which is a group I was with in uh, the 60s. As a kid, I was about 16 when we, I started with those guys anyway. And I was doing like uh, parties for people. And on my very first one, I remember I walked up to the house with my guitar. I was 15 and the woman came to the door. She was very nice. She said, oh, hi, honey. Oh, could you come around to the back door? Let me, I want to let you come in the kitchen. It's a surprise. And I went, okay. So I walk around with my guitar and I come in the back door. Boom. And she sits me down. She says, I'll be back. And I go in and I sing for the people. And then she takes me back to the kitchen. She gives me 10 bucks or something. And then she puts me back out the back door. So I kind of got to thinking about that later when I got home and I thought, is this the way it is? Is this, I guess that's the way it is when you're a musician, you kind of, you know, and, and I sat down and, and I got my guitar out, my old Gibson, my little Gibson, I still got it. And I went, I'm nobody famous. You wouldn't even know my name. I follow the hand that's given the band. Search of wealth and fame. I know you couldn't know me. I've never been here before. I just offer my tunes in corner saloons and exit through the alley door. You say it must be wonderful to travel from town to town. But if I could choose, I'd hang up my shoes and think about settling down. Cause I'm an unknown rambler. I never get the bigger pay. But I can make you smile. I'll linger a while and tomorrow I'll be on my way. Cause I'm nobody famous. I'm nobody famous, no, uh-uh, I'm nobody famous, and you wouldn't even know my name. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that was great. I love that song. Well, just right, we're sitting there, Nevin and I've been playing music, and it was one of those improvisational moments that I like to have on stage, which is most of the time, I really don't like set lists because I never know what I'm going to really feel like playing. You know, I might not, I might not feel like playing that or I might. It's hard <laughs> to say, isn't it? I mean, uh, got to do what moves you, baby. You got to. And, and, when, so, and sort of when you're a songwriter performer and you do a lot of it alone, or you have one person who's willing to follow you around for a while, they are so cool that one night I actually was singing this song called the Gulf of Mexico that I wrote. And I totally could not remember the song at all. I had a total blank out. So I just made one up on the spot and I turn around, I see Evan and he's going, <laughs> but he's, he's on it. You know, <laughs> and afterwards he said, was that something different about that song? I said, yeah, I like, I had to pull that one out of the rabbit's hat, man. I, had this, I totally forgot the song. I just kept going. And so, <laughs> it's funny. We got some friend of yours having a conversation. We've got Glenda and Oh, Glenn Heidler. Yep. Yep. And they stayed there for the summer. Heidler's out on in the uh, in the in the beat on the beach, the the Venice Venice Beach, yeah. 
So these are all friends of yours. Yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. Wow, this they, feels like old home week. It is. They all know each other. Everybody knows each other. That's very cool. That's very cool. If you want to continue, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's so fun. Keep it, you know, got special things to say to each other. So what's um, next? What um, um, the? I think well, the first, right now we're, we're on long ride home, right? Yeah, the first, it's long ride home is the first in the series of three that are just now just released digitally. So if you're, uh, if you don't actually have the album and you're on Spotify or Apple music or any of the streaming services, this is now streaming for the first time ever. And, uh, if you haven't heard it, you can just go click on that and listen to it and you can hear these songs as much as you want. Yeah. Long ride home. I wrote that when I was living in New York city after taking a long subway ride back or probably something like Folk City back up to the west side where I had a little apartment up there on 83rd Street. Here's to the wind I was never gonna ride a bomb Here's to Tree, swore I'd never write. Here's to the lovers I was never ever gonna hold in the dark and quiet places of a moonlit night on the long ride home, sitting all alone, wishing I could fill the empty corners of my soul on the long ride back through tunnels deep and black feeling like a thief for all the pleasure that we stole on the long ride home here's to my good friends still remember me hey and here's to the future always moving up so fast i'll drink to the good and bad and all the lives i've had here's to my first mistake and here's to my last on the long ride home sitting all alone Wishing I could feel the empty corners of my soul On the long ride back Through tunnels deep and black Feeling like a thief For all the pleasure that we stole On the long ride home The one way back on the long ride home Sitting all alone Wishing I could fill the empty corners of my soul On the long ride back Through tunnels deep and black Feeling like a thief For all the pleasure that we stole On the long ride home Reverb. Awesome. That's great. I love that song. Unplugged. Unplugged. <laughs> Unplugged. Acoustic, remember acoustic music? You're getting acoustic music. And he says she's tapping toes in Tennessee. Danielle is clapping. Hey, sis. <laughs> My sister from New York. Let's, um, I tell you what, while we're waiting, um, I'm going to flash up um, a picture of Liberty Arts. And why don't we, 
why don't you tell us about Liberty Arts for those who don't know and uh, and tell us what's going on with Liberty Arts and what we're going to be doing and uh, all that. Well, one of the things I'm hoping to do is tonight, this, this is the first time we're doing this, but Gina, our uh, uh, host here tonight, master of ceremony, so to speak, has agreed to do more of these with me. And what I'm thinking is since we can't all meet at the house, we have a good following at the house. It's not a big house. We, we fill the room with 30 people. And after that, it gets a little crowded and it's pretty crowded at 30. So we certainly don't want to start back immediately and we don't really know when we're going to be able to come back and we're all missing it. But in the meantime, I've been looking for a way for us to connect and do it through the Liberty Arts uh, email list that you guys have been gracious enough to sign up on and do it on. We do have a little website called libertyarts.org um, and tells you there about some of the things that we're doing. And the whole reason we started this art center is I live in rural America and out where I am, even though we're only 60 miles southeast of Nashville, a lot of people here don't really like to go too far from home. And I wanted to bring something that, that you'd have to go into downtown Nashville or go to Knoxville or Atlanta or New York or someplace else. And traveling troubadour minstrels, small, a solo, or maybe at the most an acoustic trio, who could put on a show that is acoustic and to a small audience and just and get a good reward besides having a great night here that's just great sounding room they would also get great recompense because I, we don't do it more than once a month when we're doing it and we never you know you pay what you need and the musicians have always been shocked that so few people would give so much that's just how they are here but now we're hoping to build a presence online as the art center that we are locally to still continue to help musicians so that maybe if you come back at the next one of these and we don't know when that might happen, we're talking about it. I could say, Hey, Gina, what about our friend out in California? And we could, you could see somebody out there who's sitting here just like we are now. One of my buddies who can't get here to play, maybe uh, our friend Haroya in, in, in uh, New York city, who was booked to come when everything shut down. And uh, I'd love to have him on here and raise some money for him and his family. Um, so maybe we can be helpful and still get this great music. That's, it's sort of part of what I think would be a good dream. Well, Liberty Arts, it, it seems like it was social distancing before it was popular. So, cause it's out <laughs> there, but now we can all be, we can all be close. We can hear all that great music, uh, you know, right here in our own homes. Exactly. Um, and uh, you know, when, when we're able to open the house again, um, we'll just bring it, bring it live to everybody like this. That's I, I think this is a great idea and I don't think we should stop it even when we can get back together. Absolutely. Well, yeah, I agree yeah and also you. people who can't make it. That's what I mean. If you if if someone's in Tennessee or someone's in Kentucky, wherever they are, we can we can bring them in. I that I love that. The bit this is actually even better because before when we did live streaming, we just had the room, which was great. We made some beautiful videos and we got as good a sound as we could. But I love this idea of connecting to people afar so that our community actually grows. And we have the same feeling. We can pass that same good feeling we have in a small community and make it global. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Absolutely. Well, we have a, we have a tip jar there for Liberty Arts House. Um, it's, it's an old house. And after all the storms we've had, it, it can always use a little fixing up. So uh, if you're interested in tossing a couple bucks in the tip jar for Liberty Arts, um, I'm sure it'll be much appreciated and uh, we'll buy a new can of paint, and fix the stairs and do whatever else we need to do with it, right? Yes. Said, right now the, front, the ceiling inside the front porch, which above it is a turret, the, the house was started in the late 1890s and finished around 1920 something, I think. Uh, so it's a very interesting old house because some of the wood on the inside, which you can see in the performance room, I, when I stripped the walls down, I could see the actual tongue and groove poplar in different colors of paint on it that date back to the 1700s because Liberty, Tennessee was a town. It's the oldest town in DeKalb County and it was incorporated, I think, or put together back in the 1700s. So it's, cool. an, it's, it's, it's an old cool. house and Great it's house. got old wood and it's even older than itself. Cool. Cool. It's kind well, of like me. It's old, but it's not really old. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
it's got some great years in it. Um, so uh, the next song you're going to play, I think, is one of my favorite of yours, uh, Pi, from what I understand. You getting it in the right tuning? Yeah, it's got to be in the open D tuning for this one. But... And Ruby Lovett cut this on her album that she gave to Puff Bunny. She asked me if she could do this song, and I said, "Are you? is that a serious question? I mean, would I love it if you'd sing it? And then she asked me to play on it, which was my second favorite thing to do, since I follow her around anyway and play for her all the time whenever she lets me. <laughs> I hope she's watching tonight, Miss Ruby. I hope you're there. Yes. Get us. I know you are like me, really. Sometimes we don't get the internet too good, but. No, she's already said hey. Hey. She's, she's here. You're next, Ruby Lovett. You're going to do that. We're going to do this with you next. Watch out. We're coming for you. So. So we've got, we've got, um, we've got So Little Has Changed, that one. We've got Live at Hondo's, that's one, that one there. Yeah. And now we're at Long Ride Home. And we've got a couple more after that. Yeah, there's, they, yay me. Yay, there's Ruby Lovett. Hey, Ruby. There she is. Hey, Ruby. And of course, Anna says, Ruby rocks. That's the funky chords. It's got to be just right, you know. Okay, Ruby, this one goes out to you tonight, then. nothing to lose gonna teach myself to play guitar and tie my shoes I'm gonna learn to whistle soon someday I'll go walking on the moon I'm gonna be big and I'm gonna be strong I'm gonna learn to take care of myself When I'm alone I guess there's not much I can't do Someday I'll go walking on the moon Ah, 
I love that song. Song sort of feels like a good workout must feel in the gym, you know. And I'm Gina. Yeah, makes me think of Bear. Yeah, Tracy's singing with me. She loves that one too. <laughs> cool. So yeah. that's one right home. Yep, that's it. Which then would bring us to the next album, which has the picture of my favorite all-time lifetime dog, Jubal. So you know what that means. That's Jubal. Because we probably have to sing this one because I know everybody will be singing this one. Tell us about tell us about Jubal. Maybe the people don't know about Jubal. The dog. The dog. The dog. Well, it was way back about 30 years ago. Oh, <clears throat> I'm not really old yet, right? 30 years ago or so, when I went into Nashville, I just bought this farm and uh, I went in to see Jesse Winchester. I'd never seen him in person and I had most of his albums. So I took one of his albums in and I, after his show, I walked up and, and asked him for an autograph and uh, he autographed my album. I didn't get home to about two o'clock in the morning. And at that time, my, my wraparound porch on this 1926 year old farmhouse where I'm sitting in and that you've joined me in my kitchen tonight, uh, didn't have a screen porch. So I just walked up on the porch and about tripped over a dog laying in front of the door, kitchen door on the porch. And I just jumped in the air and I went, get out of here, get, 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 you know, scared me to death. And then I went in the house and didn't think anything else about it. Got up the next day and looked out and didn't see him. I said, good, he went. I don't want a dog because I don't, I'm not home enough. I don't want to have to be responsible for an animal. And I walked out on the edge of the porch and I looked down and there he was all huddled up against the porch as close as he could get to the house so that maybe I wouldn't see him. And uh, that's it. After that, he sort of just became my dog and stuck around forever until, until the day he left. And uh, it was rough. We all mourned. It was, it was an emotional, emotional day, but uh, he was one of those best dogs you could ever get. And he just showed up on his own. I don't know where he came from, but he was a good one. He had a heart and he was so sensitive. He would know when I was sensitive, you know, one day I was swinging out on the front porch here. I had a swing and I got this rhythm thing going, that little, little shake kind of here in the country, you know, and I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool to write a two chord song? So, uh, and Jubal was under my feet. I was going back and forth swinging and my toes would grab him one way and my heels would grab him coming back. Won't you come on home? When 
Jubal got old and ready to go. I took him on a walk down Dry Creek Road. I was his best friend and I didn't walk fast. We dug his grave in the shade when he breathed his last. And we all sat down and we sang, Jubal, Jubal. Jubo, won't you come on home? Jubo, 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 won't you come on home? Jubo, won't you come on home, boy? Jubo, 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 won't you come on? A dog song. No set is complete without a dog song. Oh, and I'm a dog person, so I know. Where are your couple tonight? Usually well, they join you when they when you're talking to me. <laughs> well, I, I put them down in the basement because I didn't want to bring them on the stream because you would have heard them. Um, it's uh, it's Gigi's birthday today, and we had a special treat of um, turkey turkey meatloaf for uh, Gigi and Snuggle Bear and Alfie, and we all had a party. So, you know. That's that's my house. <laughs> that's pretty exciting. <laughs> now we're um, we're on the wild cards part. So what would you like to do now? All right, I'm I'm loving the wild card idea. Uh, actually, I, someone asked me. This was a request. We've had few requests tonight, and this one was requested. And I don't have this song on any of my albums, so it's something that you're hearing that hopefully will be on a future project. I thought I would retire from that when I help Ruby produce her album and, that, and it just was so much fun really just playing on the album and writing songs and helping produce and not thinking I have to go on the road and support it. But now that we have the live stream, I could support it here, right? So I may, I may do it. But, and I, I don't know. I love this song too. I uh... I wrote it with Bob Allen. Bob lived in Nashville for a while. Danielle is saying Cajun Queen. You know, Danielle, I'm getting my electric out and practicing for that one. So I can get back into the Randy groove. This, all of these uh, albums are now available for streaming, um, and uh, now you can share them with your friends without having to get a CD. You can say, "Hey, you got to check out some of this Pie music if you haven't heard of her before." Um, got some cool comments. Max Brand is saying, "Play Bob Dylan's Boots of Spanish Leather." Wow! Great song. <laughs> I was just listening to it by uh, Ian Tyson yesterday. Must be psychically in the air. <laughs> so what's what's this song by? What song are you playing? This is called Mary Robin Rose. Mary Robin Rose, okay. There's the culprit. You tune because you care. Yeah, it drives my ears crazy, you know, as we like to get you all to me stuff. So anyway, Bob Allen sent me a part of a poem that he'd gotten from a friend of his that was living in California, and it was about her aunt and uncle. And it was just such a charming idea. And then she, I talked to her on the phone. She told me the story. And he said, I've, I've gotten this far with it. I've added this. But, you know, I don't do the melodies. Bob would always say, he was a lyricist I worked with. And he would send me lyrics and I would write um, the melodies for them. So we were, had a great relationship. And the three of us put together this song. And it, it, it just seemed to, it. I know it's, never mind. Let me just play it. can hear the sirens 
See the flashing lights. Feel the wheels of the ambulance racing through the night. And he's not sure how he got here, where he's gonna go. But in his mind, he wants to be back on Mary Robin Road. So he prays. Lord, before you take my soul to heaven, before you open up those pearly gates to me, stop by Mary Robin Road, where the one I love sleeps peacefully. She's the only ever after the soul heart will ever be. He aggravates the nurses, stubborn to the bone. But when he talks sweet Aileen, he softens in his tone. And he tells them old stories of days so long ago when she made their house a happy home back on Mary Robin Road. Lord, before you take my soul to heaven, before you open up those pearly gates to me, stop by Mary Robin Road. Where the ones I love sleep peacefully It's all the ever after The soul heart will ever be And he's lived too long without her His lover, friend, and wife And he's tired of every breath he breathes Without her in his life So he prayed Lord, before you take my soul to heaven, before you open up those pearly gates to me, stop by Mary Robin Row, where the one I love sleeps peacefully. She's all the ever after this old heart will ever be. Aileen's all the ever after the soul heart will ever be. Mary Robin Road. No, that's a beautiful one. I Isn't that, that beautiful? Yeah. Mm. Just thought we could all use that, you know, right now. It's just a song that touches you somewhere deep. Cool. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're moving into the uh, the uh, the last album we're releasing digitally, um, and uh, we're going to hear some songs from that. Finally getting home. Finally getting home. Yeah. Tell us, yeah. Tell us about that one. Wow, that was just a uh, whoa. That was an amazing time of life. At the same time, I was cutting that album in Jack Clement's original studio on Belmont Avenue. Bob McDill was cutting his only solo album he ever made. Uh, and on his album were songs like Catfish John that became a huge country uh, hit for uh, Johnny Russell. Um, he went on to write Amanda for Don Williams. Um, he just white socks, red ribbon beer. And, and, I mean, at one point when I was living in New York City, I looked on the Billboard charts and in the country 100, I think, he had McDill had seven songs at one time on the on the Billboard charts in the country charts when he was like you know when we were young da -da -da -da. Oh, he was he was hitting him he was hitting it hard so he's playing on that album he's playing on this album he's playing banjo on it and I think we did a couple of songs off there of, of his and I I'm sorry Bob I did not learn that one I the only one I learned was the one I wrote with, wrote with Reynolds who produced it. Um, and I guess the reason I remember that one is because we wrote it together and also because 
we still sing it when we get together because we love this song. And we only wrote one verse to it. It took us 12 years to write the second verse, which I'm going to include the second verse, which is not on the album. So tonight you get the special, you get the second, took 12 years to write verse along with the song. And it's one of my favorites. Uh, we called ourselves, we all would harmonize on each other's albums and we call ourselves the Joyful Noise Choir. This was sort of our nickname. So. Let time be your friend. Yes. Moving here. I have walked through the shadows of your afternoon Chasing the sundown of our love Making believe I'm still the one on your mind Hoping your thoughts of me will all be kind So let time be your friend so let peace rule your mind and be kind to yourself. Trust in the things you're hoping to find. years took to write this verse. Well, years. And I treasure this time we've spent so well. My life will never be the same. And whatever you're dreaming, you know I'm on your side. And for you, my heart is always open wide, so let time be your friend, so let peace rule your mind, and be kind to yourself. Trust in things you're hoping to find. Keep trusting in those things that you're hoping to find. Yeah. Thank you, Donna. Donna Frost, she liked that one. She said, yeah. Allison Clement is on. She's saying, Oh, I remember when you were recording at Daddy's studio. Yeah, girlfriend, it's been way too long. We need to have a reunion once we can all gather again. Would love to see you. How's bro? Doing all right? Yeah, these are these are Jack's kids. These are my buddies. They they were little little kids back in those days when we did this finally getting home album. That's right. Well, Puff Money's uh, bringing it back so people can hear it. And uh, I would love to be able to put out McDill's album too. What another great album at that time. That was so great. Thank you, Allison. Thank you. I, I remember you back in those days, kiddo. Mm -mm -mm. Back then you told me I was your favorite singer. I'm not going to ask you who's your favorite singer now, but back then that's what you told me. <laughs> well, that's great. Well, what have we got? Uh, what have we got? Well, I got one more in me. Yeah. And then I'm cool. going to turn the kitchen back over to the dogs and the cats. You know, right. how we, we've got them sequestered. They need to get out and take a little romp around. Uh, it's been grand. I love this. And that's inspired me to make me want to do this again. 
Yeah. Uh, just I for the pure fun, you know, we could just get together because we like each other. Yeah. I well, like it. We're all hanging out. We're all in the room. Like, all right. We're so, in, the, in the room in different places, but we're in this room together, which is great. Thank you, Gina, for making this possible. Oh, thank you, Pi. Uh, you know what, Renee? I will do Star Packers next time I'm on here. I promise. <laughs> Thanks, Allison. Love to you, too. Um, this is a, a song that a folk group I was with called the Pozo Seco Singers um, had on, on in floating the billboard charts for like 54 weeks or something. It was a pretty incredible time in, in our lives as kids from Corpus Christi. But um, Michael Merchant, who went to uh, Miller, wrote this song my junior year or my senior year he wrote it because he'd gone off to college and when he came home for the break at Christmas he played it for me and I said teach me that song so he taught me this lick and he taught me the song and gave me all the verses but I only picked three because back in those days folk music went on and on and on and on oh. so for those of you Know this one, sing it with me. Some people run, some people crawl, some people don't even move at all. Some roads lead forward. Some roads lead back Some roads are bathed in light Some wrapped in fearful black And time, oh time Where did you go? Time, oh good, good time Where did you go? Some people never get Some never give Some people never die some never live and Some folks treat me mean Some treat me kind Most folks just go their way Don't pay me any mind Sing with me, come on Time, oh time Time, oh good, good time, where did you go? Sometimes I'm satisfied, sometimes I'm not. Sometimes my face is cold. Sometimes it's hot At sunset I laugh And at sunrise I cry At midnight I'm in between And wondering why and Time
Where did you go? Adios and thank you. Oh, gosh. You had so many people singing along with you, Pi. It was really beautiful. Yeah. Well, thank you so much to, for coming to Liberty Arts Live. Amen. Thank and you so much. I hope uh, everybody out there um, had a little more um, love in your life in your, se in your sequestered place and um, that we've lightened up your life a little bit. I hope so. Um, come back when we come back again. Who knows may sh who will show up in this room. And don't forget to, uh, to uh, uh, pop some tip in the jar for uh, Liberty Arts House Maintenance so that by the time you get back there, we'll, we'll have a floor and a ceiling and paint and everything. So thanks again. Pi, you want to take us out? Sure. <laughs> Love yourself already. Did we do that one? I can't remember if we did. From the So Little Has Changed album, just in case you want to have this at home. This is for all of you who think you can't sing. Now, some people say. I'm a nutty old poo, cause I never wear socks. In my old cowboy boots, I've got holes in my shoes, I've got holes in my pants, and I love just to show you my old moonlight dance, cause I'm dancing on the sunny side of the moon. People think you're crazy as a loon. Oh, but who the heck cares what you're missing upstairs when you're dancing on the sunny side of the moon? Now, sometimes I like to talk to myself in voices that come from both sides of my mouth. I can whistle like a sailor and laugh like a clown and dance like a fool when that moon rolls around cause we're dancing on the sunny side of the moon people think you're crazy as a loon oh but who the heck cares what you're missing upstairs when you're dancing on the sunny side of the moon now I'm always making up stories in the back of my mind. Yes, and sometimes I lead with the rhythm first and sometimes I just break out in rhyme. But mostly I lead with my right foot and I sing out a tune. When I'm waltzing around on that sunny old moon Cause I'm dancing on the sunny side of the moon where people think you're crazy as a loon Oh, who the heck cares what you're missing upstairs When you're dancing on the sunny side of the moon We're all dancing on the sunny side of the moon Where people think you're crazy as a loon Oh, but who the heck cares what you're missing upstairs when you're dancing, when you're dancing, keep on dancing on the sunny side <coughs> of the let the neighbors hear it. Mwah. How was that?